Hello and welcome to WooCommerce plugin series of Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I will show you all the details about WooCommerce plugin to create e-commerce website. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. So in this video, I'll show you how to manage the inventory settings of the WordPress website. I'm already logged into the WordPress dashboard of this website and we will manage the inventory settings of this website. So on the dashboard, you will see WooCommerce and under WooCommerce, you will see settings. So go to settings. Now this is the option for the general settings. Here you can change the store address and the other general settings of the store. Now go to the products tab. Now these are the general settings of the products. Okay, now under products you will see this sub tab inventory go to inventory this is the shop level inventory settings you need to enable the stock management now the second option is hold stock and it is set to 60 minutes that means when someone add the product into the shopping cart it will stay there for at least 60 minutes and if the customer is not buying or if the customer is not paying for the product within 60 minutes it will cancel that product from the cart and it will come back to the inventory so customer will have to pay for the product within the 60 minutes after adding that product into the shopping cart let me show you how does this work this is the shop i'm going to this product now you will see this is the product let me select it now it shows that there are 20 in stock so if I add 10 products in my cart, now you will see that 10 products are already added to the cart. Now I'll have to buy the products within the 60 minutes. Otherwise it will get canceled from the cart and it will go back to the inventory. You can change that to 10 minutes. So uh, now you can limit that time to 10 minutes instead of uh, 60 minutes. Now this option notification, enable low stock notification and enable out of stock notification so if there is low stock of that particular product it will send you an email to the registered email address here you can change the email address and uh, uh, whenever there is a low stock it will send the notification to this particular email address now the low stock threshold is set to number two so so you can increase if you want you can change it to five whenever the number of products goes below five it will send you a notification email to the register email address same with uh, out of stock it will show the out of stock notification whenever the product is out of stock now out of stock visibility hide out of the stocks items from the catalog if the product is not in the stock it will stop showing that product from the catalog so i'll just uncheck it leave it as it is now this is the uh, display of the stock always show quantity remaining in stock like 12 in stock uh, this is the same that we have you can see that 20 in stock let me change that to other option only two left this is another format of showing the inventory let me refresh it now it says in stock only in stock it's not showing the number of items and never show content this is the third option let me save it and refresh it here it it will say in stock only it will not show the quantity so i'll prefer to uh, set it to first option all right now you can see that it is come it came back to the first option now let me show you the inventory settings on the product level let's go to the edit product you can change the inventory settings on the product level also here is the option to enable the stock management at the product level you can check this box and you can set the quantities that you have uh, in store and allow back orders is so even if you do not have that product in the stock people will be able to buy the product and you will have to manage that product low stock threshold that is uh, the number of, when the number of products reaches to this particular level it will send you a notification of low stock level so store wide we have set to five now see it here all right now this is a variable product so you can manage the stock according to the variations also 
we'll do variations now this is the first variable and you can manage the stock of this particular variable like small white and this particular variable if you have it you can check this box and change the quantity so it will so you have 10 pieces of this small white shirt now the second option you can change the inventory for this one also check this box set the inventory so this is how you can manage the inventory of the store on the shop level and you can also manage the inventory on the product level also so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips